Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of season five, still cannot believe we're here, of Don Machi. Obviously with this one, I think we all know season four was the most anticipated for a lot of things, even though as a anime only, I knew nothing. We all know how hyped and traumatizing, um that was for your girl because like oof big old oof oof and i felt like season five is possibly about to be worse maybe i don't know i know nothing once again i'm just you know i, I would like to know inquiring minds would like to know but you know no one wants to tell me everybody everybody wants to show me things but nobody wants to tell what's the point of show and tell when you don't want to tell right right <laughs> But other than that, it's got to get started with episode one. In three, two, shut up, freaking thing. In three, two, one, go. Okay, flowers. Is she crying? It's gonna make me cry, is it? Like, let's let's ask that right now. anything. It's going to be season four all over again. You remember how stressed I was during this? Lily. Can we not talk about that? Because a lot of ish happened. Uh. 
Definitely. I mean, damn, everybody leveling up. Everybody except Belle. Mm. He had the worst moment of having that flashback. And it always happens. You have flashback moments at the worst time. Sometimes the best time, too. Oh, my God. Is he going to sneak up on her? Damn, girl. I'm hungry. I'm sorry. Of course not. Who would be upset with you, Val? I mean, you're fucking perfect.
because Out of respect, you know, like it, it's girl code without it being, you know, girl code. I supposed to be what's her face from um ReZero. I mean she she kinda looks like her. <laughs> Except she needs to be more paler and have like whiter hair. I so wish I got that damn card from Brendan. What's her face looks so pretty as her? Oh. Well, fuck it. Let's just go ahead and open it. Yeah, can we focus on the letter? It's a love letter. It's more, it's just like an ask. That's all. A request. Right? Like, it just happened! Oh my god! <laughs> Poor- Look at how to hear- <laughs> How do you make me when I have, like, a really bad day? Be like, I just want to cry. <laughs> Seriously? That's weird. I 
I mean, yeah, because you technically have a date. gonna go down during this. Well, yeah, we know that, but... Thank <laughs> <laughs> God. You guys have nothing to worry about. It's just a little date. Oh my God. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Are you serious? I mean, well, yeah, obviously because of the fact that she is kind of really that desperate. But I still love her. Dying. There, there, there's no fucking way. And, and Freya would not. Freya would, but that that shit ain't gonna happen. <laughs> no, baby. Yeah, don't avoid, just go and- WHOA! Well, um... Fuck the date then.
Okay, so first initial thoughts on this. I think this is a good start to this season. I love the fact that with Sif, we were, okay. Because let, let's go back to the very first trailer I saw for this season. And it's literally her POV of it being nothing but, I think, what, Belle for like the first minute. Hush. Um, so it's like, okay, what's going on? And obviously, we knew for the longest time, because I think ever since season one, she's had a crush on him. But I I'm going to say this. It's very much every single girl that does have a crush on him, it it's always one-sided. They have crushes on him. He he doesn't reciprocate those feelings. So it does also make you wonder who is the canon ship for this and such. Where are we going with this show? How are we going to do this? Because, mm, I, I mean, yes, I would love for my ship to be the canonized ship. I have like two different, two or three different ones. But obviously, regardless, however this series is going to end, I will I will cry regardless. Yes, I know, I will still be upset. I will be happy and upset at the same time because of the fact is whoever he ends up being with, like, yes, happy, happy, joy, joy, but at the same time, be like, oh my God, why didn't you just have this character be with him? But no, like, okay. I love the fact that she wrote a note to him. I also just love the fact that like how did he made the rest of them were like, oh my god, it's a love letter. Girl, did it What the fuck? That form. What the fuck? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold everything, shut the fuck up. Okay, okay, okay. Why is she asking Freya permission for this? Okay. 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 No, 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 no. Because see, they're, they're, they're all on this freaking opening in the ending too. Freya's more in the, like, can we just also talk about the fact the whole ending is just nothing but Freya? Thank you. Thank you. Like the last time y'all did that, that was Hestia. So yes, you did well. I like that. The first time I saw that ending, I was just like, oh, this is just a big fan service to her and such. And I know most of y'all enjoyed that shit. Yes. Because the shit that I saw on Twitter slash X, <laughs> y'all nuts, but you can't with horny anime people. <laughs> I should know. I shouldn't even talk because we all know how I get when it comes to anime men. I, I, I'm bad. Very bad. But no, 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 no. Um, it is, it, it's super fucking weird that she's over here like, I have to ask, per she has to ask permission? Okay. All right. I'm I'm gonna do this because the the clear something tells me this this is just how I felt like with the last season of Doctor Stone and such and looking at the opening and, and thinking like oh no 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 spoilers are never in the opening spoilers are always in the opening you know that and such I I mean because like there was one spoiler in the opening and I'm thinking like oh then somebody else is getting killed and then it was this character who technically got killed but not really okay I'm gonna go ahead and just ask this question do not answer this question okay. I'm looking at you. Even even if, even if I go on Twitter and I tag you on Twitter, do not answer this fucking question. 
Okay? Okay. Here's the question. Are they the same people? Are they, like, are they two halves of a person? Like, okay, hold on, no, no, no. Let, let's really think about this. All right, okay. We're going to compare this to Kingdom Hearts. I love comparing shit to Kingdom Hearts once again. Okay. Spoilers for Burt by Sleep. And Vinitas and his bullshit. Okay. So you have Ventus, who is just, like, the whole person. Let's say that that's Freya, right? Let's say Freya is Vinitas and such. Yeah. No, Ventus. There we go. Ventus. Wrong character. <laughs> let's say she's Ventus. And let's say due to some weird freaking reason, um, she took out a part of her that she does not like. Maybe the part that makes her whole, like, more human and stuff, which is still... That is Vanitas. Even though that, like in Kingdom Hearts theory, Vanitas is darkness and Ventus is kind of really light and such. Did she do that? Can you do that? Oh, a part of yourself. Happy, sadness, anger, what, oh, whatever. Any sort of emotion and make that into a person and let them feel things and become their own person. And maybe there's a point in time where we might see where she has to go back because apparently this girl got a big ass secret. The big ass secret is she's a part of Freya and she's not talking about it. That's what it is, ain't it? I'm right. I know I am. I have that feeling. I know I'm fucking right. I know I'm fucking right. You, like I said, don't tell me. Don't tell me I'm right. I don't want to know. No, no. But no, really. This was a good start for this season. I just feel like this shit, like, we all know season four. Season four was the darkest at the time that this show could go. Something tells me we're going next fucking level on this shit. Like, I'm about to look at this show like it's a damn horror movie. Like, I don't think we're gonna, like, I, I would love to see gore like I saw last season. I don't think we're gonna get that this year again. Um, it does make me wonder like how long this arc is going to be and such, like if we're going to get like a what two-parter like we did with season four maybe but i'm not really 100 percent sure yet this is only the first episode so the sky is the limit for this but i am truly scared i'm always scared when it comes to this show especially after season four because i feel like now <laughs> every time when i look at this show you know <laughs> you think about oh remember how cutesy rootsy this show was you'd be like yeah and then they're like no not anymore this show is dark and twisted as fuck with the cutesy rootsy moments <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is our reaction view towards episode five <laughs> of season five of Don Machi. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my shut up, Hanukkah Raccoon. Um, also subscribe to my channel and make videos of Triple Day with Master Squad. And of course, you will not see me tomorrow because, of course, tomorrow is Thursday. And of course, probably that hurricane is going to come up here and sweep out the power. Um, but I'll say you'll see me more sometime probably over the weekend or going into the following week. So when we're on like episode three for everything. Um, so just in case, if the power doesn't come back until next week and such, um, if I have to, I will do episodes two and three together and then we'll go on with the bi-weekly, I mean the weekly episode issues and shit like that, you know, once again. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.